this is totally covered here. So yeah. what is that all about? One point one three. And you seconds. can't even see through no. to the no, background that's this here, is right? Very, very dense. So this is another snake, similar to the hockey sticks that were there before, and this is just one flash. Oh, it looks like a snowstorm. Yeah. An orb storm. I've owned this property since 2003. And when did you start noticing all the different oh, orb activity? Uh, I didn't notice it until we originally went to Sedona and we had booked a UFO tour with Tom Dongo. So he took us out. We had a fabulous probably four or five hours. He told us about orbs out there so he took some pictures and we had a lot of orbs around us and he said you know for all the people he takes out there there we had a lot of orbs there so that was really really interesting we saw some amazing other energy things going on so then we come home and it was probably almost two years later before i wondered oh i wonder if we have orbs out here so i went out and started shooting orbs and we have orbs here so we got i would go out different nights but it just seems like every night we went out i would get some orbs so we've never gone out and got no orbs so then fast forward to when I went to the UFO meeting to talk to Grant because I knew Grant would know about orbs and I really wanted to talk to somebody about this and that's kind of what started the whole. <laughs> 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 so yeah, it's not that we know so much about the orbs, but we started talking to people who might know about the orbs and then we've just started really learning and it's been great. Uh, there was a huge thunderstorm moving in and I'd opened the door in the sunroom to take some orb pictures because the clouds were getting dark and as I had the window open taking the orb pictures lightning hit the tree I saw the lightning hit the tree it went maybe about 200 feet back and so as the flames are going straight up I'm yelling at Miles Miles is sitting on the front porch so he comes back to the sunroom I snap a few pictures. We're discussing as to whether we should phone the fire department or not because the tree's on fire. And uh, then we sort of hoped it was going to rain. And um, yeah, but the tree was very interesting because we went out and looked at it after. It scorched all around the base, but the lightning did not blow the tree apart. So it went down into the tree, but the tree is still living. Half of it is still living. That isn't the tallest tree in the area. So why the lightning hit it, we don't know. But it was quite a show. I think the flames were about, what, 20 feet in the air, eh, Miles? At least. Because we were kind of panicking over and above everything else. <laughs> so it was, it was very interesting. So we have orbs there. And then, so uh, Grant and Desta and Mark come out and we do an orb shoot and it was great. And then, uh, so we've just been getting orbs ever since. We've got to be looking at some of these little orbs that are in the background and blowing them up because there's one really fascinating one that... We had, a, we had a lightning strike out here and hit a tree. And that night the orbs just went absolutely berserk. <laughs> There's this one little orb up here in the corner of one of my pictures and I took it and I zoomed in and I blew it up and it looks like there's a guy in there flying this thing. <laughs> so when I got into the orb thing, people had the orbs and then I saw Chris Bledsoe had the orbs and he had this kind of stuff. So then I would start asking people, and I think this is what I asked you. You got any uh, like smoke ones? And they go, oh yeah. And it's the same thing you can ask like Macedonia, Chicago, all these people, Sedona, Phoenix. I've got these people around the world that have these huge collections. And I'll say, have you got uh, smoke photographs? And they go, oh yeah. They're talking orbs. They don't even realize this has got to do with it. They think it's a different phenomenon altogether. And then I asked her about the beams. So then you get this. this and then the next thing they're going to get is these beams coming down, like coming almost like a, like a laser coming down from the ship. And um, the same thing, I go to these people and I, or people will have a photograph like this, they'll put on the internet and I'll go to them and I'll say, that's an interesting photo. Do you have any other photos like that? And they'll, and they'll go, oh yeah, I got thousands of them. And you know, it's the pattern. There's this pattern. It starts with orbs and it goes to this mist stuff and then it goes to the, the beams and then you start getting the beings appearing in the photographs. Yeah.
set this up for recording every 30 seconds. Take Where's your out. four terabyte drive? Ah, uh, it's at home. Oh. So I'll take all the cards out and download ah. it onto that. We'll start that. So now this is now doing 30 second exposures. And you'll see it. You've been out here many times. Mm -hmm. How have your experiences been? What's been your most profound experience out here? Out at the farm here? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're getting, this is the first place I ever got any orb pictures, so we're happy Grant and I to come because this kind of turned us on to being able to go home and experiment with the cameras and trying to get more orbs. But the ones here are way bigger than I get at home for some strange reason, so I'm trying to figure that out tonight. And, and what do you feel they could be? Mm, I think that possibly spirits, but I'm... I think that a lot of them are like nature spirits, like more like elementals or land spirits or, you know, spirits that aren't necessarily human. Maybe the human ones stay in houses and attach to people like that, but I think the all the ones out here could just be, you know, parts that are part of the anything, nature in general, part of the rocks. And I regress people and they say that they were rocks or flowers or animals and stuff in past lives and maybe this is kind of where they kind of like sit in the in-between before they get reincarnated back into another body or tree or plant or bug or something maybe they're just like hanging out observing and that's what we're getting <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> yeah.